in this video we are going to talk about uh, three common results reporting options the first one we can open here by double click and we go to design and monitor okay so this is the first option at this option you can find the current values of the selected specs so you can add any spec here from this section and it will be run here and its current value will be also available the second one is from the same uh, column uh, dc1 you can go to the worksheet as a worksheet you will have like any other high sys unit operation the worksheet tape display conditions physical properties and composition data so here you have the conditions like temperature and the pressure this is the temperature of the feed this is the second feed temperature and this is the top product temperature and this is the bottom product temperature also we have the pressure okay and this is the pressure we have entered this data the top uh, pressure and the bottom pressure okay and also this is the molar flow rate and the mass rate and so on also you can have the properties like enthalpy and entropy from here these are the printed data and also you can have uh, check the composition so this is the feed composition uh, uh, also i have given you this data but you can enter this composition easily and enter its composition okay and if you check here this is the overhead product composition and this is the bottom so if we look at the methane because this is the methanizer so it's responsible for removing the methane as a top so here you have 0.96 mole fraction this is a mole percent here or the mole fraction so 96 percent of the composition of or the number of moles of the overhead product are methane so it's like you are removing this composition okay and at the bottom you don't have any composition at the bottom okay so there is no methane at the bottom uh, product because actually this is a demethanizer so it's mainly removing the methane the third option to check the results is the performance so it's right here and the performance step is the most powerful reporting tool why because it includes the feed and the products so if we have two feeds here this this is the composition and this is actually the summary also you have the uh, column profile like the temperature so we mentioned that we have 10 trays and a reboiler and this the temperature the pressure integration from the top to the bottom and also the vapor and liquid molar flow rate. okay here you have feed uh, and product okay so you have here 10 and the aeroboiler 10 tray and the aeroboiler and you have the phase here it's liquid vapor it's mixed and at the reboiler it's liquid okay but again the most important is the summary and from the summary we can know the compositions so if you are asked about what is the composition of methane at the overhead product so here methane and this is the overhead product so this is the composition again we can check it from the work uh, the workbook or the worksheet so from the performance we go to summary and here we have the composition that we need okay uh, another important uh, information okay so we go to design and monitor and here we have a zero degree freedom because we have entered the overhead product rate but it is not practical or most of the time we don't use it at all okay it's not always practical to use the flow rate such in this case to clear, to satisfy the required degree of freedom so this is not what happened actually so instead of doing this as i mentioned before we have 0.96 composition or component fraction of methane so in this case we are going to remove this one so it will be unconverted and we are going to add another respect that we are sure about which is a column component fraction okay so we have a column component fraction that we know so we are going to add it by double click or add a spec 
So now we have a composition fraction at which stage we are removing it from the first tray because this is the overhead and in this case we don't have a condenser. So we are removing it from the top tray. And we know that the vapor fraction or the mole fraction here of a vapor, its phase is vapor is 0.96. Okay, so and it is a methane our component that we know the composition is a methane and we are going to separate it as a stage after adding it it is actually selected it is active estimated and the current so they are comparing so this is the specified 0 0.96 and this is the current 0 0.96 and actually the degree of freedom turns to be zero and it's converged okay so it's important that we know not always the uh, the flow rate is used to uh, cancel the degree or to uh, neutralize the degree of freedom. Okay, what does this number mean? This number means that the 0.96 uh, separation of methane needs not one three four three kilogram mole per hour. This is not the reason that we need. We need much more. So it's so 1351 okay so this is wasn't actually the right molar flow rate as we mentioned before that's why we don't use it okay so now we are almost done with our first demethanizer so now it's time we have our bottom the hair and the top so it's now time to add our desanizer in this case our desanizer should be pumped as a feed should be bumped to our deethanizer. So in this case, we are going to add a bump. This bump will bump this stream to a deethanizer. Okay, so we here we are going to add a bump from all bump and enter. Okay, um, actually it is not working, so I am going to take it like this. Okay, and now we have this bump. Double click to open it. And this bump, the bump, bump is liquid. So we are going to take the bottom. So this is the bottom as our feed. This is our inlet stream. Okay. The outlet stream is the deethanizer feed. It would be the feed that is pumped through the deethanizer. So deethanizer feed. Okay. And the bump energy will be horsepower bump. Okay. We can call it away. Actually, our, we have here only one bump. So we can add pH horsepower or we can give it the name P100 horsepower. Okay. So now you are asked about the duty or you can add the feed pressure. So you can go to the parameters and enter the duty here. In this case, we don't have the duty. So we are going to enter here that the feed pressure, the pressure of the feed here is 2,792 kilo pascal. So now it's okay. The feed, this feed is okay. And also the bump is, uh, um, is okay. So we go here and go to the parameters. Now you know the duty. The duty is 7.3 kilowatt. And this is the pressure drop that happened inside the um, the bump and this is the pressure ratio the pressure that's exit divided by the pressure that you enter and this is the adiabatic efficiency or the pump efficiency which is 75 percent okay here as the worksheet it's important to check the worksheet for most of the unit operations or the equipment you will have this is the feed in and this is the out and this is the horsepower for the horsepower we only have a heat flow but for the, the material streams, we have a temperature, which is constant, almost con constant. This is a slight rise. Here, the pressure will increase and the molar flow rate is still the same. Okay, now we have added a bomb. So it's time to add a distillation column, which would be our deethanizer. In this case, we can go to separators and this is a distillation column. We can put it here. So this is our feed stream that we are going we have pumped it and it will enter to our desanizer. Double click to open it. And in this case, we are going to call it desanizer, which is DC2. And we are going to have 14 stage instead of 
instead of um, 10. Okay, so we are going to increase the number of stages. The inlet stream will be DC, uh, the one that we have uh, pumped. So it's DC to feed, and we will fit it, or it will enter at the tray number six. Okay. Uh, this is our okay. This is our feed. For the condenser, we will have a partial condenser, which means the condenser will cool uh, the um, the outlet here, and the part of it will return to the um, frac uh, fraction the distillation column to lower the temperature of the top and the part of it will be uh, withdrawn at overhead outlet okay so we will have a partial condenser the overhead vapor product this is our head our vapor head uh, vapor product and we will call it dc2 overhead overhead and this one this is our distillate we call it dc2 distillate distillate okay and we have also here so we have called this stream we have a still bottom there so this is dc to bottom bottom okay and we have a repoiler okay we have mentioned before that we have a condenser and the repoiler so for the condenser it will be dc to uh, condenser duty or q and it will this one it will be dc to um, dc to repoiler q okay so now we can go to the next page here the stage numbering doesn't matter this is from top down so one two three four and ten fourteen it could be from bottom up so the reboiler will be stage zero and one two three until we reach the 14 okay we will keep it as it is we don't have to change it and for the reboiler the second uh, page here for as we mentioned before Reboiler configuration and most of the time we will keep it as it is. So it will be one through regular high stress reboiler. Okay, so next we will have our pressure profile and for the pressure this information is important. You must have it. Okay, for the condenser we are given it's two thousand seven hundred and twenty three kilopascal. This is the condenser pressure. For the pressure drop as a condenser we are given three uh, thirty five kilopascal. For the reboiler uh, pressure drop, we are given that it's zero, there is no pressure drop. And for the reboiler pressure, we are given 2,792 2, kilo basket. Okay, after entering the pressure profile, we, we can go to the second one. This is the temperature estimate and it's optional, so we can skip it. But in this case, we have an estimate optional condenser temperature estimate. And in this case, we have negative four degrees Celsius. this is an optional for the top three temperature and here we have also the optional temperature estimate of the reboiler which is 900 uh, 93.3 uh, degrees Celsius. okay so we have entered our temperature estimates now it's time to go to the specs here you can add a reflux ratio in this case we are given reflux ratio of 2.5 and this is a molar you can have a reflex ratio in a mass base or a volume base but in this case we have it as a molar also we have the liquid rate equal to zero as this one zero and also we are given that the vapor rate is the vapor rate here is 317.5 kilogram mole per hour okay so we are done now with all the information so we will have this one if we run it, it will be converged directly and we go to the monitor, the degree of freedom is zero and you have enter actually three. If I remove this, this three, you will have a degree of freedom equal to three. So I'll keep them active. Okay. And the degree of freedom will turn to be zero. Okay. So now we have a degree of freedom equals to zero, which means it will be converged. Okay. So if we have to ask about what is the molar flow rate of ethane in uh, the bottom stream okay so you go to the performance here and you'll find that you have the product and the feed here and you have a column profile and you have a summary here you have the summary composition this is a composition and for the product you have the 
product composition so here this is a de-acinizer so the most of the composition will be the same so this is 0.9357 and this one this is the distillate uh, this is the second part from the condenser this one okay so here you have okay let me close this one and go here you have the overhead and the distillate okay both of them are comes from the condenser and you, from the reboiler you have the bottom okay back here from the design you it's important to look at the monitor okay for this case you have a reflux ratio overhead and also you have the bottom product rate okay it's given here this is the current values the reflux rate this is its value okay if we want to add another spec like we want to know about maybe the molar flow rate okay a column molar flow rate or a draw rate rate this is from a specific um, trait in this case you can add this spec and check its value so if in my case i want to know a column component flow add this spec and we'll have this one we have a component flow and the stream would be the bottom i want to know the flow rate as the bottom and the flow rate maybe it's a molar flow rate you can check the mass flow rate or the volume flow rate and here we don't know the spec value i want to know it but i am sure that i want to know the composition of ethane okay so from a specific stream and now we are done so the component flow in this case is 0.7377 okay so if we are asked about what is the molar flow of ethane in the dc to bottom stream uh we, we can add it like this okay so this is a given answer if you are asked about the propane so component column component flow and here in we want to know it in the bottom two and it's molar and in this case we are we want to know it for propane and in this case this is the molar flow rate of propane okay uh, we can also check a lot of specs like here at spec you have a lot of specs here like a column temperature and uh, maybe if we add it for a stage i want to know the temperature at three number 10 and we close here so the temperature is 72 degree okay so most of the time instead of trying to look at the worksheet or the performance or the flow sheet whatever you are looking at it's recommended to go to here at the monitor and add the specs that you want to know about